I've got here the ground assets set for the Imperial Navy and Alt War. Let's very carefully use an X-Acto knife and get this open. And let's see exactly what you get in there. So there seem to be a bunch of markers that are useful for scenarios. There we go, it's one big sprue. So it's double the size of the standard aeronautica sprues. And it is, oh okay, essentially they're mirrored. So let's have a look at this. You've got Orc bunkers and Imperial bunkers. Four Hydras and two Manticores. I think, because, yep, yeah, you've got four missiles on each side. And one of those, you've got these number counters. You've got landing zone counters, which are interesting to see. Essentially, these are game counters. Good to see the Hydra platforms. It's good to see the Manticores. It's good to see the Flak platforms for Orcs. This, I think, is going to very much come into scenario play. Though, so the number counters are double-sided, which is interesting. You've got a couple of landing counters. You've got six Imperial emplacements and six Orc emplacements. You've got nothing with little people on yet, but it'll be interesting to see when they do that. They're very simple kits, so it will not take long to put them together and paint them. So this is, yeah, they're basically objectives, ground assets, so anti-aircraft guns. You've got little... Uh, essentially it's game counters to paint up with things like the landing counters and these and these are objectives for your bombing missions but they don't give you that many scenarios to start with so it's got to be future proofed against future scenario publications either in White Dwarf or future campaign books or Warhammer Community because the scenarios in the start in the campaign book are very much reflective of some of the scenarios in the first aeronautica book they've just been updated and of course you could use all of this stuff for titanicus but certainly these imperial bunkers you could use as objectives in titanicus these counters and these you could use as objectives and then you can put these imperial emplacements in with some sort of weapon values and use them to be terrain so this is very much geared around scenario play. In a freeform game, you could have somebody be attacker, somebody be defender, and let the defender choose some ground assets. Uh, but the detail on them is very nice. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see your little moulded Imperial Eagles, moulded rivets. So these are... T oh, God, I'm going to have to paint more rivets. On the Orc one, you've got your corrugated iron boards, your girders, even more rivets, your orc emplacement, you've got even more things to dry brush and pick out, your imperial emplacement, you've got more rivets around the side, you've got this uh, mesh flooring, so yeah, you probably want to leave the gun things separate so you can get in here and get the detail and then just stick it on at the end. You might even want to wait a little bit before you stick that on because you're going to want to get to things like the mesh flooring on these. So I like the look of it. I think it's going to take me a while to paint because the amount of detail on it. Um, and I think it is, if you don't want to play scenarios, then you don't necessarily want to get this. Uh, rules for it are in the campaign book because it's air to ground combat. If you buy in the campaign book, you'll probably end up getting this because it adds to the game. So I've actually started building the ground assets. So we'll take a look at the orc stuff. So these things just drop into these gaps here. So these are basically all identical. But the flat gun bases, you can just drop in like so. Uh, the heavy flat gun sits on top of the uh, circle going around it. However, with both of these, you could plug this in and then paint the gun separately. 
So the gun, you want to sit like so, pointing up. Uh, what I will say is the paint scheme on the back of this is not great. It is a very basic paint job that I am surprised GW put on box art. Uh, looking at this, I'll paint up uh, probably at least one of the Orc flat guns and maybe one of the bunkers on a video to show you guys um, and to go through some weathering. But they are nice pieces. I think they're very badly let down by the paint job on the box art. But you do very much need them for scenario play. Uh, and it does give you more variety in your forces. You do end up with 50 to 60 points of ground assets for each side that you can take. You probably wouldn't want to take that much. But if you're playing an objective based game and there's landing zones. And you're able to place a few flat guns near those landing zones. Then you can divide your opponent's forces, you can give him a horrible surprise and basically just make his job harder because if you can put uh, a heavy flat gun or a flat gun near a landing zone then your opponent is tempted to strafe it and that's a turn they're not firing at your planes and flat guns are seven, eight, nine points as opposed to a fighter that's going to be at least 16, if not 20 something. But the models themselves go together quite nicely. You can see popping this here, you've got a nicely detailed little flat gun. And that's missing, of course, the top two big shooters. But these are quite nice. So you can look at how they'll look put together. So I like them. I'll do a video painting at least one of the flat guns up and a bunker as well. If you are only getting the basic set, you don't need to get this. If you are getting the campaign book, getting this is a very good idea. Gives you a bit more variety in your forces, gives you some things to put on the table, gives you more tactical flexibility. You don't necessarily need it. You can mark landing zones with things that aren't the landing zone markers, which are provided. Uh, you can use just numbered counters instead of these nice plastic numbered counters but it is a nice set and it does make me interested to see what other epic scale scenery they're going to come out with at some point because these are nicely detailed and nicely put together so if you've liked this video hit like and subscribe if you want to chat leave a comment below but otherwise good gaming